In today's episode, a wheel will forget how to spin, a guy will be happy, and another guy will be angry. You are a failure, nobody loves you. When I first saw a member on my Discord server claiming that this thing can hit 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.2 seconds, I thought he was joking. But as it turns out, it's true. This is the Tango T600, a very narrow electric sports car. It came with 4 engines and the manufacturer claimed it produced 800 horsepower. And even though it may look like it can flip over, don't worry, the batteries are located in the floor. This means the center of gravity is super low which makes this car handle surprisingly well. Also, as the Tango is thinner than some motorcycles, it can legally drive side by side with other small vehicles in traffic lanes. <laughs> That's so crazy. During the 2003 Acropolis Rally, Estonian rally driver Marco Mertin had a small issue. The hood of his Ford Focus rally car got loose and blocked the view. I can only imagine how focused he had to be. This is when your pace notes really do become invaluable. Well, I know that at that time the frustration of not being able to win a rally for so long time was, was so big that you know, the, really, the bonnet uh, didn't stop us, you know, normally it should have, but uh, we just wanted to win the rally so badly that you know, nothing could stop it. The Schwedenkreuz corner on the Nordschleife is a really, really dangerous part of the racetrack. It is a high speed left turn with a big elevation change. Low downforce cars tend to lose control here, which leads to either spectacular crashes or a trip to the gravel trip at the next corner. This AMG GTR driver had to experience this on his own skin. Luckily, both the driver and passenger were okay. Yep. This German car collector has a V8 powered lawnmower. You know people get serious with their engine swaps when they add another two wheels to the front. When it comes to smiles per gallon, nothing can beat a super impressor on snowy roads. While German sports commentators sound like they are in a library, Japanese commentators tend to sound like they are a voice actor in an anime. Just have a listen to this formula commentator. Give a man a basic Honda Civic and he will drive it until the end of his life. Give a man a all-wheel drive tuned K20 Honda Civic and he will race Nissan GTRs until the end of his life. Front-wheel drive cars have the tendency of lifting one wheel off the ground during high-speed turns. Kind of like dogs when they do their business. What causes this is a stiff rear sway bar. It is not necessarily a bad thing since the benefit of having traction from the fourth wheel is outweighed by having a stiff chassis. Finnish people have a lot of talented drivers in motorsport and a big history of brave soldiers. What do you get if you combine these two things? You get whatever this thing is. To me, it looks like a snowmobile with a diesel engine and two massive snow tracks. Who would win? A Soviet amphibious tracked infantry fighting vehicle or some Czech truck? Zizi. 
With Volvos, you have to be harsh on them, otherwise they will act up. This guy shows how it's usually done. Depressed brake pedal to start? Okay. You are a failure. Nobody loves you. Die! When you have to transport a super heavy mud tank up a mountain, you might experience some turbulences. But the landing should be soft. Hey. That's fucking awesome. Let's see the landing. <laughs> you fucking, yeah, double, double tap, son. HKS is a Japanese manufacturer of aftermarket parts for sports cars. You may know them for building all sorts of components like turbos, blow up valves, and so on. But did you know that they also tried to get into Formula 1? They developed a 3.5 liter V12 engine and were testing it in a Lola F3000 car before trying to get into Formula 1. Unfortunately, from what I have gathered, they did not have enough funding to get into F1. Normal people think that flames coming out of exhausts are useless and dangerous. But actually, they have a practical purpose too. Volkswagen may have a mixed reputation in the US, but one thing is for sure, their diesel engines are one of their better products. Militaries across the world are now short on professional drivers. They are looking for young drivers that know how to drift. Yes, you heard that right. And yes, I made that up. As a small thank you for watching my video until the end, here's an interesting fact. The only two countries where you can't buy Coca-Cola are North Korea and Cuba. Also, if you want to listen to me screaming like a little girl, check out this video on my second channel. Needs to be she's coming! Ah, she's coming! Okay. She's coming! Incognito. Oh, no, no, no! 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 I can't I can't he got him! Just click right here if you want to check it out. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.